Hello YouTube viewers, I'm Matt Video Productions and welcome back to another video. As many of my regular viewers know, I like to open up with an interesting AI generation. And today it's also a little bit of a showcase. As you can see, this is text to video AI. I actually covered this in another video, but now it's available on replicate.com, which I also made a video about. And by the way, those two previous YouTube videos will be linked down in the description below. So yes, this new text to video model can actually be used by you guys with the link in the description below. However, it hasn't been working for me so far. The servers seem to be down and it also takes about 45 minutes to generate a small little video. So this is by no means a fast or stable model as of yet, but I wanted to show it off in the beginning of this video because it's just so darn interesting. And there are a few other examples down here as well. My favorite's got to be this floating cheeseburger. I mean, it really does just look like it's floating. So yeah, you guys are welcome to give this a shot with the link in the description below. And if you do manage to generate any little videos, I would absolutely love to see them on my Discord server. With the link down in the description below, you can go ahead and join my Discord. You could submit AI generation media that you've created yourself, and a lot of it turns out really cool. You can also submit your own prompts to get generated by other users in the Discord and submit video ideas for this channel and just generally chat with the community as a whole. So anyways, guys, time for today's main course. We are going to be using Dolly to explore completely randomly generated sentences. Up here, I have three different random sentence generators, and we are going to be using all of them to come up with random sentences to then be generated inside of Dolly. Let's hope we actually get good Dolly generations today because I don't know about some of you guys with Dolly access, but lately Dolly's kind of been a little bit flat and boring lately, at least in my opinion. We talked about this in my last video. Anyways, this was subscribed to my channel, and obviously these generations aren't going to be that great because that's not a very good prompt. Anyways, the first generated sentence is, we're careful about orange ping pong balls because people might think they're fruit. I actually really like this sentence, so we'll see if uh, we get an interesting generation out of this. By the way, all of these generations are appearing to sort of be natural sentences. That seems to be how these automatic sentence generators work, is that the prompts are more natural sounding, sound like natural sentences that would come out of a mouth rather than this is to be generated in an AI sort of speak, if that makes any sense. Anyways, this is a uh, pretty interesting right here. So we definitely got some orange ping pong balls. This girl is definitely playing ping pong. She's got orange glasses on. I kind of like this. However, I wish this was also orange. It seems to be really focused in on the text. It looks like these are supposed to be some sort of a ping pong ball, but that is not <laughs> what it turned out to be. We've also got the phrase down here, pairing, peeing, ping, paroop, pouring, ping, prong. <laughs> <laughs> then praying, poppling? Hmm, that's not normal. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, kind of interesting nonetheless. I'd also like to point out that the idea for this video was suggested by one of you viewers through my Discord channel, so thank you to whoever suggested this video idea. Oh, I like this one. I had to stop Tom from making the biggest mistake in his life. So I guess these are supposed to be Tom. They all kind of look like Tom's, to be honest. Looks like Tom has some sort of a scooter here. Maybe that's his big mistake. Uh, maybe his mistake was cheating on the test. Or maybe this is Tom and this is the guy that needs to stop him. Who knows? This guy just looks really stressed about having to stop Tom from making a huge mistake. Either way, these generations are, you know, mediocre at best in my opinion, but maybe it's the prompt that's the issue. Garlic ice cream was her favorite? That's disgusting. Let's see, garlic ice cream. What could that possibly look like? I hope we get an image of garlic ice cream. Okay, we actually did get some garlic ice cream. Finally, something a little bit unique. Okay, I like this one because we can see a little bit like seasoning type of deal on the ice cream. Like this is, you know what I'd imagine some garlic ice cream to look like. Have like some random seasoning mixed in and it definitely would be like a white garlicky yellowy color. So I actually really like this, uh, this generation right here. I think this is quite a good one. Moving on to this one, this is just like a little stick of maybe test garlic ice cream or something. This one also looks like very garlicky. It looks like it's served on a fancy little spoon. And this one is a little bit more like a traditional ice cream cone, but it looks a little fuzzy and gross, to be honest. I don't know if you guys uh, are with me on that one. I would not want to eat that. It looks a little moldy, but we've got a little bit green sort of seasoning type of thing. I feel like the, the green goes with the garlic, even though I know garlic isn't actually green. Either way, these are actually pretty 
decent uh, generations. And I actually like that Dolly was able to pick up on the fact that this is a female who is holding the ice cream. So we've got, you know, more painted nails on the hands that are holding the ice cream. All right. So with this one, we've got he picked up trash in his spare time to dump in his neighbor's yard. Okay. So hopefully... We're gonna see some guy dumping trash in someone else's yard. We could also enhance these prompts a little bit ourselves. I don't know if that ruins the magic of the video though. I wish Dolly could show me ads while I'm sort of generating stuff here so we could, you know, maybe get cheaper generations at the very least because I would totally be willing to look at ads while I wait. Okay, so these are actually pretty decent. All of these people sort of look scummy, if that makes any sense. Like this guy's just got a full open belly. He seems like the type of guy to to pick up trash and then dump it in his neighbor's yard. Maybe this guy too, he's wearing some weird pajamas. He's picking up some trash out of this trash can. This one just sort of looks like a random kid, but he is in a yard with a bunch of trash. So he looks like he's ready to about dump some trash in his neighbor's yard. And this one actually is my favorite generation out of the four. This guy is literally ready. He's bent over, down, lifting up the trash to dump it in where he clearly is, a yard. And you can see the two houses. This is probably his trash. He's got an extra trash can ready to go in the back. And this is his neighbor's yard. He's ready to just dump the trash right out there. So this is definitely actually a pretty darn good generation for the prompt, I think. So yeah, I think all these actually really aren't too bad in general. But yeah, this guy is ready to dump some trash out in his neighbor's yard. I actually really like this generation because it's more of a pun than anything else. When he encountered the maze for the first time, he thought it incredibly corny. So I think this could actually be a very interesting prompt, and we'll see if Dolly can pick up on that little pun, so to speak. We're looking for a giant corn maze, I think. Let's see if we get just that. Again, instead of these random tips showing up, I would love to see some ads, but I know OpenAI isn't really the company that's down to put ads on their software like this, even though it would be cheaper for all of us. It definitely picked up on our maize and corn. We didn't get the maize, so to speak. It didn't understand that this word right here, maize, was actually supposed to mean like a corn maze. That's sort of the idea, I think, of this randomly generated pun. But we did get a bunch of people just sort of eating corn. This guy really looks like he's enjoying it. This guy is just so infatuated with all this corn that he has. This is kind of a funny image, I guess. This guy's sort of holding up the kernels and the corn stalk at the same time. And this guy is just putting some corn away in a box. I tried to tell her thank you, but what came out instead was guard a hook. I honestly don't think we'll get a good generation out of this one, but that is a certainly random sentence. My whole body was one big bruise after the rugby game. Hopefully this isn't too gross for Dolly. We might get like a warning here. Ooh, this is kind of gross. <laughs> this is definitely not a bruise. That looks like mold is growing on someone's leg. That's actually disgusting. This one's just sort of like healed up bruises and scars. This one's another kind of bruise looking thing. And that's also disgusting. These are, these are gross. But, you know, it was accurate. He found a leprechaun in his walnut shell. Okay, I gotta see that one. I really hope we get a little leprechaun inside of a walnut shell. Ooh, these are actually decent for once. So we've got these uh, 2D generations. So this is just a leprechaun holding a walnut, which is still pretty cool looking. This is definitely a leprechaun inside of a walnut, but again, this is just sort of a drawing. This is where with Dolly 2, you have to actually specify what type of image you want, but these two are actually pretty cool. This is like a little leprechaun actually looking inside of a walnut, which is a pretty interesting generation. I like that there's clovers at the bottom as well. And this one is probably the best. This is actually a guy finding a little leprechaun inside of his walnut shell. So this is actually completely accurate to the text which is exactly what I was looking for, of course, which you're always looking for with these text-to-image AIs. Look at that little walnutty leprechaun face inside there. That is just absolutely perfect. I am very happy with this generation right here. See, this is a prompt that would be completely okay to generate in Dali, but we are not allowed to do it because of the crazy restrictions with Dali. Tomatoes make great weapons when water balloons aren't available. That would be so super interesting. It'd be just people throwing tomatoes at each other. But the word weapons is not allowed. Nothing is as cautiously cuddly as a pet porcupine. Let's give this one a shot. All right, those are some interesting generations of cute porcupines. I actually really like these. This is just someone's cute little porcupine pet. This one is sleeping on a blanket, so I guess that sort of makes it look more like it's someone's pet. This one, he's sleeping. That's that's actually cute. I think the word cuddly here is actually contributing to our generations, and especially this one, I think, is my favorite, where you can sort of see the whole bed. It looks like it's in someone's house, so this is someone's pet porcupine. Definitely my favorite generation out of the bunch for this prompt.
It was the best sandcastle that he had ever seen, so we're expecting some glorious, amazing sandcastle. Okay, so we definitely got some sandcastles here, and we've got a boy, which of course is signified by the he here. So, you know, maybe this is just some little kid's sandcastle that he built, so I understand this is pretty accurate to the prompt, but best sandcastle, you know, I was expecting something a little bit more amazing for a sandcastle, but of course you could make a more detailed prompt and specify that you wanted an insanely cool sandcastle but nevertheless these are actually pretty decent images you know he's just sort of building a nice sandcastle he's having a great time this literally looks like someone's family vacation photo which is pretty crazy and this one i find particularly interesting because we got a pretty decent sandcastle here definitely on the beach with the ocean in the background but notice this the shovel that was used to make the sandcastle is actually a sand creation itself with the sand sort of pouring out of it uh, but it actually did a really good job making something completely out of sand. So maybe that's a Dolly strong suit where you can actually say, I want a photo of a person completely made out of a sand. Let's see, photo of a T-Rex made out of sand at the beach. Let's see, can Dolly just make things out of sand? Okay, so yeah, definitely. It can definitely just make sand castle creations. So if you have access to Dolly, this seems to be a strong suit. Sand generations. All of these are honestly pretty darn decent, I have to say. Pretty good, pretty good. He was sitting in a trash can with high street class. <laughs> this is definitely a guy sitting inside of a, <laughs> a trash can in the middle of the street. I actually really like all of these generations. He actually looks pretty classy in this one, which was a part of the prompt. So yeah, this one's pretty accurate. This guy looks sort of stressed out that he's in the trash can, but he doesn't look too bothered, and he's definitely surrounded by trash. This one, again, looks a little bit stressed out, but he's on a trash can, surrounded by trash. And this guy's really just big chilling inside of that trash can in the middle of the street. So I think this one might actually be my favorite, although for accuracy, I might have to go with this one. I would be delighted if the sea were full of cucumber juice. You know what? Me too. Okay, so this sort of gave us cucumber drinks. I will have to say, though, all of the sea pretty much in the background of these images is sort of cucumbery greenish looking. So I don't know. All of this is really just cucumber drinks. This one actually looks pretty delectable, I have to say. This one's not so bad. This is definitely a lime, not a cucumber, but these could be cucumbers inside of the drink here. This one, again, is just a really nice looking drink sort of sitting on the sand here. Pretty nice image in general. Nice looking image, but not really that accurate to the prompt itself. This one, again, just another cucumbery looking drink. It's really interesting how this prompt sort of directed Dolly to drinks. I think it just sort of is associating the beach and cucumbers with fancy drinks. All right, let's go for a nice final sentence here. It's a skateboarding penguin with a sun hat. Yeah, this is a typical Dolly or text to image generation prompt. Let's see if it can get this one. Skateboarding penguin wearing a sun hat. Pretty simple. And there you go. He's not really wearing a sun hat. He's definitely skateboarding and he's definitely a penguin. Pretty accurate stuff here. I want to see this as a real image, though. Let's see, can it do the photo? And there we go, actually. We did get some pretty decent images of a penguin skateboarding wearing a, a hat, at least. Not really a sun hat. This one's probably closest to an actual sun hat, but it messed it up still. This one's definitely the most coherent and definitely my favorite out of the bunch. Um, but nevertheless, these are all pretty decent and not bad for a final generation for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave it a like and check out some of my other videos. We've got some really interesting stuff going on the channel lately. Make sure to check out the Discord if you already aren't in that. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.